structural analysis of a piston head in Kata V5. I'm gonna show you how to make a report and do the stops. Okay, so I'm gonna make a piston head in Kata V5 using the part model design. And uh, for reference, I uploaded this draft sheet in the description link, so you can download it from there. Sketching this plane, taking as circle to be of diameter 30 mm and length as 30 mm, same. Okay, so as you can see, there is one pocket for the connecting rod to be attached, and there is one void also here. Okay. So the dimensions are 11 and 20 mm okay so just selecting the surface sketching it drawing a rectangle and now adding the constraints to be select this one this one and the middle one to be a symmetric in design same for this also symmetric and now giving the dimensions 20 mm and this one is 11 mm using the pocket command I'm gonna make a void inside this I'm taking as 25 okay now sketching the other plane like this and now drawing the circle for the gudgeon pin to be attached okay. that connects the piston and the connecting rod so I'm going to take the radius as 5 and the distance between this two is 10 mm fine 5 and this 1.2 and 2 for the piston rings right so just this is the command pocket in the three directions means mirror extend preview okay and for the Stress consideration purpose, I'm using the fillet here. And now I'm changing the direction. Yes, it is it's perfect. Okay. Now drawing the piston rings cavity. So drawing here three profiles. So for that using the rectangle command. I'm gonna draw this so the distance between this and this is 2 mm and from the upper end the distance between this and this is 1.5 I have used I have used the projection command okay say so to see the surface line clearly okay so doing the same again okay, 2 mm and the distance between this two is also 1.5 If you found any difficulty just message me in the or comment in the below so I can clear your doubts okay and the distance between this bottom and this is 
0.7 fine I'm using the grow command for making the cavity for that I'm selecting this as a reference so I'm gonna add the material so the best thing about Katia is you can design your own material properties so I'm gonna just using the steel here in the next video I'm gonna show you a new material how to be added in the part design fine you can see the material is added now going for the analysis I am using a static analysis so further if we see in the practical way this gudgeon pins are inserted over here so so considering this part this holes to be uh, no with no degree of freedom so for that I am gonna use a command called clamp so it will hold this place at sit position Fine. so adding the stresses like this you can have more like this distributed force torsion movement anything so I'm gonna use a distributed force over this top in the downward direction as 10 Newton you can take anything you want as per the requirement or the conditions Fine. Okay. And I'm using a temperature field or over here while piston working it, it also goes under a tremendous temperature conditions so I'm gonna use here the temperature to be 120 Kelvin right okay now I'm gonna show you the meshing properties as this is the size of a mesh before analysis we have to do the meshing so the iterative things happen over in this domain and the results will be shown up to you so I'm using just a smaller here size 1 and the absolute sag is 0.3 and the element type is parabolic ok so it gives a better meshing properties and a better results for a component so just computing it it might take long but it will do the meshing here so most of the people know uh, doesn't know about the CATIA meshing properties the good thing about CATIA analysis I'm gonna tell them CATIA is the best tool for analysis for the newcomers or the they have started their new experience so all set okay so now I'm gonna show you the deformation and the changes occur in this so as you can see the component is somewhat deformed and changing its shape while applying some forces and temperature gradients fine so this amplification mag magnitude I'm changing to default the material will not deform randomly so I'm gonna animate this as you can see the progress the progressive change in the material with time further you can check the one my stresses if you are an engineering student then you should know about the one my stresses so according to this theory the components are built so in this you're gonna showing with the maximum and the minimum value of the stresses here fine so changing it to displacement 
as you can see the red shows the maximum displacement occurs in the direction as each part uh, shows the displacement so further going for principal stresses and now going for precision you can see the change in the concentration of the errors occurred the one thing about the analysis is better the mesh better the analysis will be done if you want to have the report of this total analysis this is general report or you can search it from here and just click it so it will appear over here if you want to find it so, so just selecting this and now directing the location piston head okay so yeah so at that place you can find the analysis data here it is so here you can see the total analysis is done over here so, the fx fy fz M mx my mz this all data is present over here you don't need to calculate according to this you can make your own paper and publish it over in various journals that you see in 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 your colleges libraries or furthermore okay so just copying this all because it's a html file control c and uh, so I'm gonna just creating a new word document control V all the data is transferred over here control s you can save it and here's the, all the report that you need required for the publishing your own paper and get a good score in your academics and in the in your curriculum